Good evening guys. It is Monday night and I'm starting the vlog now, but the reason I'm starting it now is because I just haven't done anything all day apart from sort taxes out because I finally have an accountant, thank God, and I've had to like send over some final bits to them. I've been editing videos, so the video that you guys saw on Wednesday took me the entire morning to edit because there was I think like five hours of footage or something ridiculous. So got that done and now I'm just unboxing some bits that have turned up today. So we've just got our HelloFresh through. So this week we have veggie noodle stir fry, which is what we're gonna make tonight, which is just like sugar which has got sugar snap peas, peanuts etc and i think we're going to see if we can add chicken if we've got some in the freezer and then we also have butternut squash curry which is still left over from before so that one's going to be tomorrow's we've got teriyaki udon noodles and thai veggie curry and like i said in last week's vlog we're stopping hello fresh now and we're going to try potentially a different box or to be honest i think we might end up just getting hello fresh because it's really good like we've enjoyed every single meal that's come through so we need to have a sit down and discuss that because it's obviously between two of us but I wanted to share with you something that's just turned up that I'm very excited about. So this is something that I have been waiting for for a couple of weeks and where have I put the scissors? Oh, they're here. It's only just turned up and I'm very excited about it. So I'm gonna share with you what it is. Let me put you on here and you can see the floor. This camera is so old and battered. It's struggling to focus all the time now. So apologies for the focus on the last couple of vlogs because it has been really awful, but I'm waiting till my tax bill is sorted and then I'm going to buy another one, which I know I said was a 100k present, but my tax bill's a little bit more important, so I've had to hold fire on that one. But this is my little new fun thing, which I'm really excited about. Dun, 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 dun. I now want to go to the shop just so I can use this. Oh, what's this? Oh no, there's tools, what do I have to do? Okay, so as you can probably tell, this is a scooter. And I'm so excited by this because I've not had a scooter in years and I really wanted one. So Toucan reached out and asked if I wanted to have a scooter. And I thought, Do you know what? I could think of nothing better to get me zipping around London than a scooter. So I said, yes, I'm very excited. I just don't know how the hell you use it. How do you lock that into place? I don't know how you do this, but I'm going to work it out and then I'm going to be zip zipping along all over the show. I've just literally got no idea what I'm doing. I can't work out how to make it like stay up. The scooter is built. It's not electric, annoyingly, but I'm actually kind of glad it's not because apparently they're being banned. But how cute. I'm going to have a little scoot scoot down the hallway. <laughs> it's so cute. I will leave a link to the Instagram page. This is a brand called Toucan. They basically gifted me this um, just to try it out. And I think I'm gonna love it. This is gonna be well handy for going and getting like coffee or something. Or like if I go on a little run to the supermarket, I can just scoot this along. Yeah, so the supermarket is literally five steps. So I don't really need to do that. However, enough scooting up and down my hallway. I'm actually gonna do a workout now because I did one yesterday and it's actually making me feel really good. So I'm gonna get back into the swing of working out every day. I did three last week, which is good going. So I'm gonna keep getting on it and keep working out. Growing that peach and then arms. <laughs> okay, workout time. Good morning, it is Tuesday today and I am prepping for something very exciting that's happening tomorrow. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to take you with me because it isn't for me. It's like a brand shoot for a brand that I really, really love and work with all the time. And I'm basically shooting stuff for, I believe just their social media. So like social media ads and like Instagram stuff but I don't know if it's also gonna be like TV stuff, I can't remember. My manager dealt with most of it, so I'm kind of, I don't really know the full ins and outs of it, but basically I'm doing a shoot tomorrow and I need to pick some outfits that I can take with me. So the whole like premise of what I'm doing is going to be like, a uh, slightly dressed up Zoom call with like friends and family or like a work one. So I'm planning a few outfits right now. I've got everything kind of laid out on the bed that I think I might wear and I'm gonna try it all on in the mirror because they've asked if I can send over pictures of the outfits that I'm thinking just so that they kind of know what vibe I'm going for and they can tell me which one they think will work best for what they're doing. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I need to finish taking pictures of everything that's gonna be listed on Depop because 
I've still got like half a bag's worth of stuff that I haven't taken pictures of it on me. So I need to get that done. Um, also for the keep and delete. I need to plan the keep and delete. Basically, today's going to be a very, very busy day because where the video for Depop is going up tomorrow as well and all of the stuff is being listed and all that kind of thing. I'll leave a link to the Depop down below because I'm sure there'll still be some left when you guys watch this. But um, I've got to leave my house at 6am. So where the shoot is in Kent. My boyfriend basically lives about a 50 minute drive from me and the shoot is 50 minutes further from him. So we're gonna go back to his tonight because obviously where we're in a support bubble when we both live alone, we can kind of go between two houses and stay overnight. So we made the decision to do that, which is the first time we'll have been back in quite a while actually. So planning everything now, all needs to get packed, all the Depop stuff needs sorting. There's a lot of things that I need to do today and I'm very, very stressed, but I'm trying to just like streamline my focus on what I need to do. So I'm gonna start popping some of these outfits on and show you in the mirror what they look like. And then obviously I, I'm gonna try try and take you with me tomorrow but yeah we'll see I it's gonna be tricky I think because obviously I'm like on shoot and everything is covid safe so there's a really reduced number of people there so the only people that are at the shoot is me um a makeup artist and hairdresser but obviously we've got to be masked um I don't really know how the makeup thing's gonna work I'm actually gonna ask if I can do my makeup myself so that I can put a mask on um, while they do my hair just so it's a little bit safer. I'm driving myself to the shoot so I'm not getting a taxi or anything because I thought driving myself would be also safer and as far as I know there's no more than like four or five people and it's a very big studio space and everyone has to wear masks behind the camera. Um, obviously when I'm on camera I can't wear a mask but between and like around I'm gonna have to so it's all very very covid safe everything is 100% it is a legal thing that you can do it's not breaking any rules because it's a commercial shoot um, so hopefully fingers crossed all is fine and then that's basically my day tomorrow so I'm gonna be very 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 tired by the time I get home but my call time is 8 a.m like I said I'm leaving at like seven to half six and I should hopefully be finished by like one, but I know that it's probably gonna run over and end up being till like four. So yeah, exciting, but I need to start trying these out for someone and stop chatting. So I'm filming a reel where I like drop the shoes and then suddenly they're on my feet and didn't really think this through when I just dropped my docks and I'd worn them on a muddy walk. <laughs> so now the hoover's coming out. Right, I completely forgot to show you the first outfit, but this is the second one. So I've just got this jumper dress from ASOS. I'll obviously leave everything linked um, and my little snapshot bag. And then I actually did have my docks on, but like I said, it was covering the floor in dirt. So I'm not gonna put them back on because I did just forget to film this bit. But um, I will also put on the screen the first outfit and leave that linked as well because I did completely forget to show you. But I'm leaning more towards the first one being more appropriate. I think this is a bit too cash but I might travel in this tomorrow and then just chuck the boots on because I think it'll be really nice and cozy to travel in. Okay, this is the next outfit. So obviously hair and stuff is all the same. So I've just chucked this jumper over this really cute mango dress with a little YSL bag and my snake print boots, which this is actually a really cute outfit and I've never thought of wearing it. And I think this might be one that I wear on like a little date when we're allowed to go out again, because it's really, really cute. But I like it a lot so this is number three as potential this is the one I'm thinking they'll more like because it's really really girly and like really cutesy so we'll see but I'm gonna carry on trying on I've got two more to go so we'll see what they look like on <laughs> as I'm changing this is what the dress looks like without anything else so just a really cute simple dress but I am obsessed with it this was actually meant to be one that I took to Turkey but it didn't come in time and then obviously we ended up basically in lockdown so it hasn't really had a chance to shine but it's so cute so it's like tiered and it's actually got like an under bit so it's not see-through at all but this is definitely coming back out in summer because it's so nice and so cozy and I'll leave it linked if I can I don't know if it will still be in stock but I'll try the lighting is so dark today I really apologize for how dark it is in this room but this is what it looks like so I've just got a blazer a little white jumper a skirt a little bag and this is what I mean by the mud situ I'm literally having to like position my feet so you can't see the mud <laughs> I forgot to show you the last outfit, which was this one, and if I'm honest, I think that is probably going to be what they pick, because either that one or the dress one, I think, so like, one of these two, because they're the most, like, classic, girly, like, simple ones, but we'll see. I've got everything hung up on my door there, so that when they tell me which ones to bring, I can just quickly chuck everything in my case, um, and then it's all ready to go for tomorrow, so right now, I'm actually going to start shooting the Depop stuff, which I think I'm going to do in the bedroom mirror. Actually, no, I'm just going to do it here. It's so much easier to just do it here. 
I wasn't kidding when I said I had a lot left to take pictures of. It's very dark in here, let me turn the light on. I've just finished sorting all of the Depop bits. So I've like done all the pictures and everything and given the flat like a little bit of a tidy. Well, I say given it tidy. I've basically just put a few bits away and like taken the bins down and stuff. So I'm just finishing doing that now. And then, and then I've got to do boring tax stuff for a bit and maybe film two reels. But boring tax stuff is one of the first jobs. Good morning. It's Thursday today and I am absolutely exhausted. Like, I have no energy and I'm also hella anxious and I have been for like three days and <sighs> riding that wave. <laughs> I'm putting it down mainly to lockdown and not being able to like really do my work because um, it's so dark in the house. Like it's literally so, so, so dark. And I feel like to get any kind of work done, I need like insane lighting and I don't have that. Um, I have ring lights and stuff, but I just don't really know how to best do it so that it's not really shadowed. And I don't know. This doesn't really make any difference to you guys. But maybe I'll have to start filming videos in here because the lighting's really good in here and it's the only room that it is really good. But um, yesterday, what did I even do Tuesday? Basically just ran around planning stuff for yesterday. And yesterday I was up at 6am on the road at 7 and did a shoot the entire day for a brand. So it was like a commercial shoot, which means that I don't get any of the content. It's for them. So it's like campaign imagery and um, videos and stuff for them. So like none of the content is for me. So that took the entire day and then obviously drove home. So I was out literally from dark till dark, which I know sounds really stupid to be moaning about because I know so many people are going to be like, well, that's a normal job. But... Obviously, I work from home, so it's not very often that I'm out of the house on a job for like the whole day, so I'm really tired. But I ended up in bed at 10 yesterday, woke up at 7, and here we are. I don't even know what the time is. It's 10 past 10, and I've done nothing. I just feel really like, if you get anxiety, you'll know what I mean, but I feel like I get this wave sometimes. Like, I get weeks, so like one week I'll be really good, then I'll be really down, then I'll be really good, then I'll be like, it goes in kind of like week cycles. Or like sometimes it's like two or three weeks that I don't have it and then it comes back for a few days like but it's normally about a week and a week and um what was I gonna say I can't remember but I have a new therapist that I'm starting with on Monday which is good so the old therapist she was amazing I really enjoyed her the only thing was that I found I wasn't really learning anything which I didn't it's hard to explain so I don't feel like I learned any skills or like resources as they call it to take away so she was really good to talk to and I noticed like some of the Skype calls that she was like reading off a screen and I was like for me that's just not like I don't know I don't know so that was CBT and I'm now trying something that is like CBT but a little bit different I can't remember what it's called but it's basically to do with like how your body reacts to anxiety and not just your thoughts so it's not completely focused on your brain but it's also focused on like the reactions so it's like trying to find out why the reactions are the way that, like, I don't really know how to explain it, but I've got my first one on Monday and hopefully it helps. I am also considering, this is such a waffle for a Thursday morning, but I am also considering potentially getting meds, maybe, because obviously I've been dealing with this for quite a long time now and I just feel like it's been a while and that's something I maybe need to consider again. Like I've only ever done it once in my life, but they kind of just chucked me on it and didn't really give me any explanation of why I was on what I was on. It was just kind of thrown at me before I'd even been given like therapy or anything. So I'm thinking of maybe trying to speak to my doctor now who is really lovely and see what they offer and what they say and like what my options could be for that because it might help. But currently where I was going with this whole sal like salaga, saga, blah, 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 <laughs> is um, this is what I actually use that helps me a lot, which is little CBD oils. So I've literally got so many stacked up. Some of these are empty, I need to get rid of them. Some of them are original, so I have like two, these are the Trip ones, which are really good. So if you've tried CBD oil and don't like it, try Trip because they taste better. I find normal CBD oils like the CB2 and stuff just taste a bit, they taste like you're eating plant. Whereas these are like chamomile and orange blossom and wild mint and chamomile, so they're really, really good. One's obviously just really minty and one's more orangey, but I have some that are original and some that are strong. So the original ones are for days when I'm kind of just like want a little bit of a, like a chill and the stronger for when I'm like, Wah. 
and having like a major panic. So <laughs> these are actually the strong ones. But I'm gonna take a tiny bit now. Which, by the way, CBD oil is absolutely not a drug or anything like that. It's just natural. It's like if you Google it, it's like the extraction of like the good bit of a cannabis plant and basically it just helps to chill you a bit. So you literally just take like a tiny bit in like a pipette thingy and then I'm wasting it. You drop a couple of drops under your tongue and then it just like helps you to slow down a little bit. It doesn't really make you feel any kind of way. It just kind of slows your anxiety, which is what ultimately you want. So I'm gonna have a tiny drop of that and curl my hair and try and get on with my day. <laughs> I didn't want these vlogs to go like south, but you know what I'm like, I like sharing everything and I like being honest when I feel a bit poop. So that is currently my mood. Um, I was gonna try and film videos today and I still am, but the lighting is so bad. Like you cannot see a thing in my house. It is so dark. So I'm thinking I'm either gonna have to turn lights on and have them a bit orangey or I'm gonna have to film in here or we're gonna have to do some kind of something and just make it work because it's so dark. I don't know how to best manage the situation. Like, I don't know how people shoot in winter and it's not pitch bloody black in their videos. <sighs> I'm literally using my Cinderella mug off to do Cinderella tasks. <laughs> <laughs> I have decided to strip the bed and try and do something productive. So that productive thing is changing the bed covers and then, oh, this bloody camera. And then I'm actually going to, I mean, I took a couple of pictures of the house this morning for my home count. If you didn't, let me pause this vlog. If you didn't know I have a home account, I have one. I'll leave it linked down below. It is called Home of Copper. And I basically just post all random parts of my house. There is a few parts I haven't yet posted because they're not finished or there's things I want to change and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like a work in progress. Um, the bedroom is actually going to be... I don't know when the bedroom's going to fit. I basically keep changing it because I'm not fully happy with what I'm doing. So different parts of my house just keep getting like completely revamped. And there's also different things I want to like change. Like I've got some gold frames and I'm tempted to spray them white, which I'm thinking might be like a little lockdown task on the balcony to just spray them white. Because if you hadn't noticed, all my frames are currently white around my house. They just fit my vibe a little bit better. And then I've got the odd touch of like pink everywhere, like this one and the ones on there. So yeah. I don't know, there's still bits that need finishing. I'm also gonna be respraying my mirror in my bedroom. So this is quite a fun story. That's not actually a fun story. It was just a stupid decision. It sums up my spontaneity. I basically sprayed this mirror gold when I first got it. So it used to be white. I don't know if there's any part of it where you can actually see previous color. No, but it used to be white. I got it from HomeSense and I don't like it gold. So I'm thinking I might spray it back to white and then keep it in here obviously because I think it darkens the room quite a lot where obviously these are quite dark. I just think it might be nice if I brighten it back up and make this white again. I don't know, it, it's, it's a thought. It's not a necessary like happening thing but it's a thought that I wanna spray it white. And the more I look at it, the more I'm wanting to do it. So I might have to take a trip to B&Q later to do that. Um, and these are the gold frames which are the ones that used to be in my old house living room if you followed me since then. So I've still got all the same pictures and stuff, but I'm thinking I might spray them white and then put a couple of these in the hallway because in the hallway at the moment, this has gone off on a right old tangent, but in the hallway at the moment, I've got this, which is like a portrait, portrait, a postcard picture frame. So this is all postcards I've got from around the world. Um, so pretty much everywhere I've been in the last like two or three years, I have put in a postcard on here, which is quite fun. So obviously some of them are UK based, so you've got the Harry Potter Studio ones and London, but then you've got other ones that are like Amsterdam, Palmer, there is a Disney one that's not on here, um, like Chiang Mai, um, South Africa, Barcelona, etc. It's really cute, but I don't personally like it. I'm thinking I might just put a couple of frames instead, I don't know, I'm not really sure. I just don't like this. And then I'm thinking of potentially doing two big frames above the sofa and then a little rail above the radiator with like a couple of bits on and then this is going to be this layout is going to be going in my office and then i'm going to be getting a rail here with like some ivy and stuff and like some different pitch um different frames so like basically this layout is going to be in the office but these frames are staying in here if that makes sense enough house waffling from me i'm going to strip the bed god how am i this is why i could never do renovations right so i really want to renovate a house it's something i really want to do but I could never do it because I'm too indecisive and I change my mind every bloody minute. But I think the problem is I do things because I'm like, oh, this might look better. And then as I do it, something else looks better. Or like, 
for example, the reason the pictures are changing in here is because I'm changing the bed frame. So they're not going to fit anymore unless I move them up and then I think they're going to look off. So that's why they're moving. Um, and obviously the living room, the living room, the office was because I got the day bed. So that's got to change, but uh, I just like change in houses. I like changing decor, but I don't like change. Does that make sense? I don't like physical change of like moving house or like that kind of thing, but I like moving things around. Yeah, we're gonna leave that there. I'm gonna strip the bed. hours later maybe an hour later actually I don't really know how much later but I filmed the YouTube video that I wanted to get done and I do still want to get a couple of like styling ones done or something but if I'm honest it's so uninspiring to film when the house is so dark like talking to the camera like this now it seems really bright but it's actually really really dark and kind of annoying because you can't really see when I film so I'm gonna have a think and maybe get a couple of YouTube bits filmed, but I know that I'm okay for the next couple of weeks, so I'm debating whether to just wait for like a lighter day because I know I've got like three or four videos backed up. But I've just packaged up a couple of bits that have sold and I'm waiting for the postage bag so I can post the bigger Depop stuff because I just don't have postage bags that are the size of some of the coats and stuff. So I have to wait for them to come. I wanted to share with you something that turned up PR wise because it's pretty cool and I'm excited by it. As much as I sound really unenthused right now, I'm very excited by it. I am about to get this hoover out and show you because robot hoovers are blooming cool and I think you might want to see it. Thrilling content for you. <laughs> but let's go get this hoover and I can show you because I've not even got it out of the box yet and I don't know how you set it up, but I know it's like Wi-Fi enabled. So we'll have a little go and we'll see what happens. Right, oh, hoover. So this is the hoover here it's the Eufy I think that's how you say it I'm not entirely sure but it's basically a robot hoover that everyone seems to be going nuts for so I'm really excited by this because I hate hoovering I even have a wireless hoover now and I still hate hoovering like I used to think it was because I had a plug-in hoover and I'm lazy but it's actually just because I'm really lazy because I don't even want to use the other one I'm just lazy. I also need to clean my house, which is another part of my laziness. That's probably something I'm gonna do this afternoon. But um, this is the Hoover. So I obviously haven't got it out or anything yet, but I thought I would get it out on camera and show you what it's like because why not? So let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, it's got super strong suction. Oh, right. It's actually smaller than I thought it would be. Really? Quick start guide, get your facts set up in two seconds. Right, I need that first, don't I? Okay, remove the sticker next to the power switch and the phone blocks beside the bumper before use. Oh, I have to stick the little motory things on. What should we call the robot? Robbie. Should we call it Eugene? Eugene the Eufy. Eufy, Eugene. Oh my god, stop it. It literally has a bumper car, look. Oh, it's really nice. I really like it. It's like a really nice, like, sleek design. Just what you want in a little robot. Look at it. It's cute. It's really actually really light and small. I thought it'd be bigger than this. Okay, I've done that. And then it says to remove the sticker next to the power switch and the flown blocks beside the bumper for use. I don't know what number three is meant to be. I can't make sense of that. This is its little charger. And the little charger has to go back on a wall and then it puts itself back on charge. <laughs> it puts 
gets itself back on charge. This is like ridiculous, isn't it? The fact that we're in an era where this is actually something that's a thing. Okay. Always keep the charging base plugged in, otherwise it will not automatically return. When the ba charging base is connected to the AC power, the LED indicator in the charging base is solid white. Fully charged before use. The LED indicator on Robovac breathes orange when charged and is solid blue when charged. As always, it's a little while later. So I actually ended up having a bath because the Yuffie, which we've called Eugene, and apparently you can name them. Like my friend was texting me saying, you can like, if they run into things on the app, you can get a notification that's like, Eugene has had an accident. And then you have to like, obviously, yeah, sort it out. But he's currently down here on charge because you have to leave it three foot either side from anything else. So we thought that was the best place to put him because it's not near anything else. The only thing is it's a bit in the way. So when he's charged, I might just like move the charger thing somewhere else and then just put it out when he needs a charge because he can find it himself apparently, which is very, very cool. He's a very clever little robot. So we haven't set up the app or anything yet. That's one of my tasks for this evening because I really want him to start cleaning my floors. I actually, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this. I actually did just um, get an onion out of the cupboard and I knocked another onion and it went all over the floor and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna leave it for Eugene. <laughs> but I had a really nice bath. Finally finished my book. So I was reading, I think it's called Small Great Things, which is a Jodie Pickle one. Um, yeah, small great things. Highly recommend. I'm actually gonna send this to my mum because I think she'd really like it. But this is actually given to me by a friend at the beginning of last lockdown, um, potentially even earlier than that. And it took me forever to get through. So I finally got through it and let me actually share with you. But I finally got through it and I think my next read, I'm either gonna go to the start with Harry Potter's because I have one, two and three on the shelf or I'm gonna like fast forward something else. So this one is actually like a self-helpy one. This is basically all about like learning to love yourself. So this is kind of like a, a page turner for as and when. Money is Coming is also one that's basically about manifesting money and like money beliefs. This one, Bedtime Stories for Stressed Out Adults is like short stories, so I might keep this one by my bed. Um, and this can just be like an as and when I feel like I need a little read. But I'm choosing at the moment what one I wanna read next. I'm thinking either The Foundling or maybe like normal people, because I'm still like to read normal people. I haven't read it yet. I'm basically, this, <laughs> if you want to pause now, this is basically my reading list for the year. So I'm going to try and get through as many of these as I can. And if I end up buying other ones, then I end up buying other ones. But this is my current ones that I really want to get through. Um, I'm actually thinking it's probably going to be normal people or the flat share next, because they're ones that everyone goes on about. So maybe any, either of those. But this is also in Luth. <laughs> But these are all my other ones that I'm yet to get through as well. So I've got, um, what's this one? You do you. I've got Higgy or whatever it's called. I've got one that's called Good Mornings. These are kind of like, there's a few here that are kind of just like self-helpy kind of books. So that one's just about like giving cozy vibes to your house. This one's all about how to have the best morning. Confidence kit is like about gaining confidence, obviously. We've got a couple of books here. Insecure Girls Handbook, which is really, really good if you want to read that. Um, universe Has Your Back is basically like another book to do with manifesting and the universe. Me and White Supremacy is one that I really want to get through because I've heard it's really, really good and I really want to give it a read. The Best Moments of Your Life is basically a book all about the 100 best travel destinations that you have to go to. Um, chimp Paradox is about how your brain works. So this one's about like your chimp brain, which is like your childish brain that gives you the instant reactions and like your logical brain, which is apparently a really, really good read. My therapist told me to read this one. Happiness and How It Happens is about um, meditation and like Buddhist beliefs. So this one was given to me by Sinead. And then Sabotage, it's all about self-sabotage and how to silence your inner critic, blah, 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 blah. Basically, I buy a lot of self-help books and then don't read them. So I'm actually gonna start trying to get through them this year. It's one of my things. Oh, I actually also have a really good one called Attached. Um, it's currently in my drawer. I'll link all of the ones I've got so you guys can see them. I don't know where I've put it. In here? Yeah, it's in here. So these are my like two most pulled. So I've got The Secret and then I've also got The Magic somewhere. I think it's in my office. And this is attached. This is basically about like attachment styles in relationships, like lovable, like loving relationships and also like friends and family and stuff. And it's about like your adult attachment and how like 
your brain processes relationships and all that kind of stuff which i find really interesting i'm so fascinated by attachment styles because i just think it's really cool but we're about to do a workout i'm just faffing before doing one this one's waiting for pre-workout to kick in so i might get on the floor and start doing my chloe ting hit which is what i always start with and then i normally do the abs bit and then i go to do like someone's working out all day you can see them skipping on the balcony so i normally do the chloe ting 10 minute hit then I do the 10 minute abs and then I sometimes do like something else after. So I'll go to do like my own like little made up leg or arm or whatever workout. But I'm torn between doing legs or bum today. I'm thinking I might do arm, legs or bum? Legs, bum, arms, who knows? I think I might do arms today because I haven't done them in a while and they're feeling a bit puny. And I quite like when my arms look really muscly. So I think I might do that and then I can do bum tomorrow. Boop, boop. <laughs> Good morning, it's Saturday today and I'm aware this vlog has been the single most patchy thing ever. I've barely picked up the camera this week and to be honest, there's no real reason behind it apart from the fact that I've just had a really off week and I think everything's just got really on top of me this week. I've been really tired, I've been really like down and it's just been a bit of a rough one. So obviously also have been a bit busy with other things as well but today has been a bit of a depop day so I went and posted all of the orders that I had to post already I'm listing new stuff up so I've been taking pictures all morning scrubbed all my tan off yesterday so that needs doing in a minute um, and I'm basically just having like a bit of an admin day but like a life admin day and just chilling a bit to be honest there's not really much to report I'm just kind of doing nothing but it's been really nice just to relax but I do feel really bad because I said I'd come back with weekly vlogs and they've probably been quite boring and I'm, I'm trying I'm not doing anything so it's really hard to vlog too much but I'm trying I'm just very aware that I like don't want to talk about work all the time in vlogs I also don't want to talk moaning all the time in vlogs and I want to make them interesting for you so I'm gonna try from here on out to add like little clips of cooking and like workouts and stuff because I've actually been trying the last few days to like really be on it with like making sure I do workouts so I've been averaging doing like three or four a week um the last couple of weeks and I did one yesterday one the day before and I'm gonna do one tonight so like that's kind of been throughout the last couple of weeks our like way of keeping lockdown a bit more sane so every day at like five ish we basically stop everything have a quick coffee wait about 45 minutes and then do a workout and then we cook dinner and it's just worked really well as like a way to keep us going Depop also has kept me quite sane I know it sounds really stupid to say but having all of this stuff listed and like selling everything and all that kind of stuff has just kind of been something to do so like listing everything up and emailing back and like posting it and it's just given me like another something which i've actually quite enjoyed because i feel really bad when i'm doing nothing and just sitting like i can't just sit i've had about 10 baths in the last like five days i had two baths yesterday and a shower um but i'm honestly just doing anything and everything to like make myself feel better i did actually also finish my book as well which i don't know if i mentioned in the vlog but i mentioned on the stories so I was reading Small Great Things by Jodie Pickle and it took me the entirety of 2020 to read but I finally finished and really loved it. We also finished How to Get Away with Murder and I'm not going to give any spoilers, no worries, but what a boring rubbish ending. Like for such an insane sick series, I'm so disappointed. Like if you watch it, if you haven't seen the ending, if you have seen the ending, please don't give any spoilers in the comments. If you haven't, don't pay attention to the very last 10 minutes because i was really disappointed i just feel like the last episode was very like rushed and it felt like they were trying to throw like too many plot twists and too many like in fact the whole last six season, sixth season i would say there's just loads of plot twists and it was kind of like they were rushing to tie up all of the like previous things um but yeah it wasn't the best ending so really love the series but not impressed with that and we've decided we're going to start bridgerton next so i think tonight we're going to either watch a disney movie or watch bridgerton because last night we planned on watching a Disney movie. We got into bed with Wreck-It Ralph and I think I got as far as like them going into the Wi-Fi box and I was asleep. <laughs> Which is like all of 10 minutes into the film. So didn't get very far. I'm about to finish listing the last few bits on Depop. So I'm going to whack you on a time lapse. And then I need to go and put some fake tan on because my face is tanned and my hands are not or I've got foundation on. <laughs> so I need to correct that situation. But I'm going to quickly put these things, like take pictures of these things and get these listed. And then... Don't know what I'm gonna do after that. Tan, I need to tan. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get this done. I'm 
Right, the pictures are done and I'm just making a quick coffee, but honestly, I can't tell you how much I enjoy putting things on Depop. Like, I think if I didn't do what I do now, I'd 100% be like a vintage seller or something because I just love it. I think it's so fun to like put things up and like take cool pictures. I mean, basically what I do for my job, but selling on Depop. So I'm going to have this coffee and list everything. And then my other task for the afternoon, which I completely forgot about, is actually putting some boxes in my unit over there where the TV is. So I bought four um, like little grey storage boxes to put in there on the different shelves just so that I can organize things a bit better because I've got one shelf that's just loads of candles and stuff which then I can put in a basket I've got like my gratitude journal and stuff in there and like loads of like notebooks that I could stand up I've got my mini projector and all the little bits and pieces of that which can go into one of them and then I've got like random miscellaneous home decor which is going to go into the other one so just kind of organize it a bit better because at the moment which I'm going to show you in a minute it's not the most organized of places let me tell you so <laughs> First up, we're going to tan, then we're going to tackle that. So tan, list stuff on Depop, tackle the living room cupboard. It'll be fine. I don't know if you can see, but there's like mega golden hour happening behind me right now. The light is just suddenly pierced through the living room and it's so bright, but it looks so pretty. I love this flat for golden hour because obviously, so I don't know if you can see, but basically the sun, there's like a couple of buildings outside that are also quite tall and the sun in summer was setting the one side of the building now it sets the other side so we get less of a time with the sun before it goes behind the building but it's so beautiful when it comes through as golden hour now because obviously before it would have just been like normal sunshine so i think i might actually go sit on the balcony and have a coffee like like in an hour when the sun's like going down might be it's freezing but it might be quite nice we'll see <laughs> we all know i'm not actually gonna do that <laughs> 